Discovering your gender and accommodating to your culture's gender role is an essential part of human development. As young children, we identify ourselves and others as male or female. We categorize and judge others' behavior based on this schema. Around four or five years old, children begin to understand gender stability, that boys will grow up to be men and girls to be women. At this age, they use stereotypical physical cues to differentiate between boys and girls. Uh, boys have short hair, some boys, and some girls have long hair. Some boys have short hair, but most, but most, but most boys have short hair. Boys have short hair, girls have long hair. Anything else? As they grow older, children develop a notion of gendered behavior. The boys like sports and the girls like, I don't know what, but they don't like sports, I know that much. And then the boys also like um, fighting games, like maybe Star Wars and um, like fighting games. And the girls are For example, they, don't like they may use hobbies and interests as a way to determine another child's gender. I don't know. They're, they just like, like ha have lots of friends and they always um, huddle in groups and they like spread gossip a lot. Girls sometimes like, um, they'll do more dr like drawing and sometimes like ballet and I've noticed boys like would rather kind of sometimes like be being doing like sports and that type of things. If a girl is in like love with another boy then it's not it's, um it's pretty easy to tell that they're in love with a boy because they like jump around and stuff but a boy they kind of just like keep quiet and don't talk to them in a long time in late elementary school children become more flexible in their understanding of gender roles um boys and girls can do the same things usually Mostly. like i don't know how long ago but they made it so like in the olympics girls can be Part of that and stuff. Oh, yeah. And voting. What else should I do? At this stage, their notion of gendered behavior evolves to include social behavior and personality traits. Boys never, ever cry unless something is seriously wrong. Girls cry all the time. Preteens commonly break off into gender segregated groups that follow their own peer-driven rules. For example, a boys' group may resolve conflict with fighting, whereas a girls' group might resort to social humiliation. Girls can like hit people, like like girls can hit boys, but boys can hit girls. No, girls are never nice to each other. Girls are just, I don't really know how they're mean. They're just mean. They'll just like say whatever they're feeling to each other. And a lot of girls don't really like that.